What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and it's time to get some booty in here. That's right. It is a, a boot a leg review because today we have uh, the uh, NECA Godzilla 2001 Atomic Blast. No, it's not. It's the NECA Godzilla 2001 NES colors. That's right. They've never done that, but you know what? Our fine friends uh, over in China have. Um, <laughs> And I got this on uh, eBay, actually, not AliExpress, on eBay. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd uh, take a look at this because it is doing something a little bit different with the mold and what we got. It's not a straight up bootleg. Um, you know, it, it tried something different. Why not? We like that. We like some effort on the bootleggers part. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here it is out of the package. And you know what? There's nothing crazy bad wrong with this. Um, and that's a great thing, you know? Like, it's got a big seam mark here. And that's, like, about, like, the only <laughs> weird thing, you know, that I could totally spot as far as, you know being a bootleg you know other than that i mean we'll get look at it together further but you know it's not perfect or anything but there's no crazy tolerances you know and there's no like tightness or lootness it's just you know it, it's 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 uh it's it's this 2001 godzilla which i like i like you know i've liked it since day one i've liked this mold and this is an interesting one. I, I think it's cool, and it does some things really, really cool. But first up, let's take a look at the articulation. The jaw opens. The head moves around like so. The neck moves around like so. The upper body is pretty tight. I'll say that. That's... It's okay, but it's, you know, it's a little tight. Shoulders move nicely. The elbows do as well. You can swivel them too. Wrists move around on the ball joints. You do have the articulated hands, which I like that NECA does. <laughs> NECA! Uh, the legs go outwards, back and forth. The knees, you're not really getting much movement from the knees. You know, you get the swivel. There is a hinge there, but they never move that great. The feet move nice. The feet move nice. Tail moves there, moves there, moves there. And moves there, which you have to attach. This even came with the little NECA, you know, how to attach stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Looks-wise, I think it's pretty good. You know, it's not perfect, but it's it, it's cool. You know, when I say not perfect, I do see some spots where the paint kind of rubbed off, I guess, in the packaging. And there was some paint on the, um, on the plastic of the, the packaging. You know, that's going to happen with these things. They just... You, th you think they wait on this stuff? They paint it up and they put them in the packages and that's it. Uh, so stuff like that, some rubbing is going to happen. But the paint job is not bad. It's not perfectly, you know, like we see in the NES, but it gets the job done. And I'm going to look at this first. I like this. The spots on the dorsal fins are done in like a dot pattern. Uh, and that is pretty cool. You know, like some sort of crosshatch thing. I like it. I like it. It works really, really well. So I like the dorsal fins. It's got some of the blue in there. It's got some of that pearlescent white. You know, it's not perfect on this side. But again, some paint rubbing off, whatever. It's pretty good, though, overall. Here you got that seam mark again, but the arm itself. He's looking pretty good in the blues and the whites. The sculpt is good. The sculpt is very good. I've reviewed this guy multiple times. And the sculpt is very nice. And it comes across here pretty good. The neck looks really good. I do like that. The head sculpt. The red eyes are really nice. This side, you know, again, not perfect. But it works. 
The teeth are a little saturated and you see they kind of go up over the gums a little bit. And then you got some red here on the teeth from the paint in the tongue, but that tongue is nice and red. But it's not terrible, not hateful at all. Front of the neck looks pretty decent. The chest is done decently well. See that little mark there? I guess brew mark, but whatevs. I like all this. I think it's fine. It's a little fuzzy, but it's fine. This arm looks pretty decent. The body on the side looks pretty good. Then the legs, like I said, they do have some spots where you can tell that the paint just like totally just kind of rubbed off. But overall, the legs look pretty good. Nice and solid. Good sculpt. Again, it comes through. The nails look pretty decent. The feet look pretty good. It looks nice and, you know, it looks sprayed. It has that sprayed on look on the feet. And I don't mind that. You get that a lot on like vinyls and stuff. So I like that. Back of the legs look pretty good. The tail looks very nice. I do dig it for sure. Not bad at all. Yeah, you know, the bottom is not painted, but that's fine. I don't know, guys. I think, this, <laughs> I think this is good. I really do. I have no problem with this. Um, the nails on the hands look good. So, you know, if you want another variant of this, it's definitely not bad. It is definitely not bad. I like it, guys. I like it. Yep. I do. This is cool. So for your size comparisons, first up here is the actual Atomic Blast version of this and the uh, NES 80, the NES Godzilla. It's not supposed to be anything else. It's supposed to be the NES Godzilla. So um, you can see the paint job is like somewhere in between. It's not that, not those colors at all. But it's not these colors either, so it's somewhere in between this uh, color scheme, which it really works for me because it just gives it a different flavor. You know, just to give these two a little bit uh, more time together. I, I mean, look, when NECA has done stuff like this, it's not exactly perfectly clean. So this guy, he's fine. Uh, and, you know, like, besides that big thing there, there's really no way to tell it's, like, bootleg. You know what I'm saying? Like, the sculpt doesn't really look soft anywhere. Or maybe it does, but the paint job is, like, covering that up a lot, so. I don't know, guys. You know? I think, I think it really works as to what it's supposed to be. And for some more size comparisons, here's Godzilla with a bunch of other figures you might have in your collection. Final thoughts, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I mean, honestly, I, I showed it earlier, you know, like NECA when they do the crazy repaints uh, can get pretty sloppy too. And uh, this is fine. It's not as like neat and nice as the NES Godzilla, uh, but you know what? Does it need to be? This is not really an NES Godzilla. It's just like kind of, uh, you know, taking the vibe from it. So I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's a very interesting thing. And I think the dorsal fins are actually really, really cool. So you know what? I think this was a worthwhile get. If you want to get it, check eBay, check AliExpress. Uh, don't ask me for a link because I don't link up uh, bootlegs here on the channel at all and uh, or anywhere. I don't, I, I don't do that. Um, I'll buy them, I'll show them to you, but you know, uh, that the support goes uh, no further than that. And I hope you get that. Uh, but if you like this, it's widely available. You just gotta look for it a little bit. And there you go, guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe, till next time, peace out, peace.